Oh, I mean, aside from the fact that I've lost 40 pounds, like that's just the one thing. I mean, my mind, my confidence, the inches, the, uh, I don't even know, the experiences, these first, uh, you know, experiences I've had, just feeling and looking like somebody I haven't looked like before. I just, and all this crazy stuff's been happening to me lately. Uh, I can't even, I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't have words, kind of like right now. Like I said, coach, I'm going to be... <laughs> How nervous! My face is going red, but yeah, I know that we have done we've done a lot in a very short period of time. One hundred percent. It's funny because in the beginning, I remember, I remember you wanted to do one of my challenges, and it was a fourteen day challenge, and you actually thought you couldn't do it. And then yeah. that's when I was like, you know what? Let me challenge you a little bit. And we yeah. talked, um, we talked about how you know when it comes to a tackling a new fitness journey, yes, it's going to be scary. This is going to be one of the toughest things you go through. So I want to go back to that, right? For you in the beginning, what was the biggest and hardest thing that you had to overcome to be able to get it started? Well, like you said, from day one, you had to start pushing me from day one. You wanted me to do that sugar crush challenge. I said yes, and then I tried to back out. I, I think it was the confidence thing. I had no confidence. I was terrified. I mean, I had been working out so much before you know joining the dream team but just not seeing results and so just kind of running in that cycle of like working out and killing my body but having no results and i was down i was frustrated and the worst part was is i was doing it alone and i think that that's what made it the worst and i think that that is also what you know gives us no confidence right when you're alone you, you feel like you have no support you have nothing so you know you started building me up from day one and it was because you pushed me and because you encouraged me to just try that uh, i'm here today 40 pounds 100%, lighter 100 <laughs> percent. and that's the biggest thing wow, I'm just with it. it's just all about trying because you try new things and you step in that comfort zone that's all it is because for you now the, the results the people are like whoa look at sarah i haven't seen her in a while that, that's the thing that you want you want those feelings those emotions from you know yes it's validation from other people but it's validation from the hard work you put in and at the end of the day it's the type of validation we always want um so for you like what is the biggest thing in the beginning like what motivates you to start but most importantly continuous keep showing up when it came to finishing i just you know what i had been trying to commit to myself for a long time like i said i had been i'd been in the gym like prior to starting with the dream team same thing four or mm -hmm. five days a week just pushing but getting no results and so i had already i guess like made uh, you know a bit like a commitment to myself but i wasn't fully there so doing like joining the dream team and committing committing to the nutrition and to the exercise because I, I never had a problem working out i like being active um i think it's the nutrition that's been my biggest battle and although i am still working on it i'm not 100 percent there yet my um like the strides i've taken in like my nutrition and what i eat and how i think of food has drastically changed 100 percent. and the thing is with food i think like, i'm perfect on my nutrition yet and myself i'm a coach but here's the thing we all it comes like being human you're you have different habits different things that we do on a daily basis that sometimes might not be beneficial towards our goals but it's us enjoying life enjoying food for what it is um so for you said nutrition was your biggest struggle what in the dream team academy helped you you know get a new mindset get a new feel behind eating and like what gravity towards you towards getting the results that you have today i think it's just like exactly what you were just saying is that you give we you guys understand that life is life and that you give us grace and that we can't always be a hundred percent on our our um you know scheduled meals and the food prep and life gets in the way and people get sick and kids and the thing is like you guys give us that support and understanding and like just the validation that yes you're not always going to be perfect because i'm so hard on myself like I, you can see like i just never you know in the messages i'm never happy with what i do i always want more i'm always trying for better um i think that um that you guys talking us through giving us our macros giving us the uh, recipes recipe packs are amazing um the, all these things have been like m helpful to kind of guide me into the right directions and and making the right choices and again giving myself that grace where if i didn't have a good weekend because i was off and you know there's a lot of social things going around and there's food and drink and maybe i overindulge and then i come back and beat myself up about it but you're always there to remind me that like life is 
here and you need to enjoy it and you just need to like just get back on it like don't let it ruin your progress one weekend's not going to ruin my five months of hard work so i just you know now i don't get upset with myself as much if I'm, you know, enjoying myself doing whatever I'm doing because I know that, you know, the next day or after that weekend is done, like I'm I'm back to work and I'm back on my meal preps and I'm back on counting my calories and and yeah. See, you said it perfectly right there. You know, you have that week where you know you're completely consistent, but you know, weekend where you know you might go out with here and there, enjoy a couple of drinks. And I feel like a lot of people let those two days, that one day completely like destroy where they're at and they finish training. Um, so for you, like your mindset over time, how have you adapted a mindset to where those two days don't completely throw you off? I think it's just because I see the results. I see that it took the work and it didn't take a weekend for me to lose, you know what I mean? 10, 20 pounds. It doesn't take a weekend to gain 10 or 20 pounds. I'm just really much more aware of that now. Now that I've just been working and eating and you know watching what goes into my body and seeing my body change, it just you you just see it. I don't know. You just you just start to that the mindset grows the more you work out and you follow your meal plans. It you just see it at work, and I think that that is. I mean, for me, uh, it's been the validation and the and the. Uh, like just telling me that you are like you're on the right path right always you guys always say like just trust the process follow the journey and i i let myself go i jumped in with two feet and i didn't look back and um i mean don't regret it at all what's up what's up yeah so um guys if you guys don't know sarah's been with me for the past five months um, we started around november um we've lost 40 pounds over the past literally five months and it's been continuously to the point where yes we're losing weight but the thing you guys don't see is the plateaus right um, there are points where we plateaued for like weeks, a month, and these are months that are always the biggest battles. And I want to get your thoughts behind it because I know for me, I'm there, I'm, I'm guiding you through it. But what is your thought process whenever you plateau, whenever you feel like this is not working? Oh, I'm, super, I'm super frustrated i get super frustrated and you know that like that's it our dms i'm just like mad at myself for not doing enough workouts i'm mad at myself for doing you know eating this or that i mean there are those times when i feel like you know i get down on myself about it but like again it's been five months now it's been enough of a journey that i see we've had a you know week of a plateau but then you know it just draw and then all of a sudden my weight drops and it's like we have these times to go through where i've had enough plateaus where i see where it, it that it's just temporary and i know it's hard if people haven't gone through it yet but i mean let me tell you i mean i know you won't really get it until you go through it is like you will you will go through it you're gonna have a time where your weight's just gonna stay the same and you're gonna be angry and frustrated about it but if you just trust your process and keep doing what you're doing you're gonna see that drop and usually after the plateau it's drastic like i think when i plateaued then I, then that day i weighed myself and went down it was like a couple of pounds yep, yep. So. <laughs> now you were, <laughs> i remember you were um told i think it was at it was at 90 i think i think it was 90 kilograms and then out of nowhere, we just adjusted nutrition, we adjusted your diet, and literally we went from 90 to like 88, 87, 86, yeah. and just kept coming down, coming down, yeah. coming down, um, which was amazing to see. That's what, I, like, the, that's what I needed. That's what I discovered, like, that's what I needed. I needed that push. You gave me that push. It was November 7. That was the first day of the Sugar Rush Challenge, November 7. So that was the, the day first, too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, because it's the first day on my weigh-in. It's the first day on everything. So I remember that day, yeah, very well because I was terrified too. I was terrified. I didn't know if I was going to be able to, you know, keep up with the workouts, what to expect, what you guys were going to expect from us, and I just didn't know, you know, what was going to happen. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a day that I, yeah, that I won't forget for sure. <laughs> See, expectations. Like I feel like expectations can either guide somebody or fear somebody um and the reason i say fear is certain times people look at cut out coach carl like having a coach are you i cut up i got you, you. okay there you go uh, yeah so let's talk about expectations right so expectations sometimes i feel like it scare people to where they sign up for a program and they're like oh they expect me to do this and that but i feel like when it comes to the fitness journey expectations is not really trying to be perfect like i tell my students in the beginning i don't want you to aim for perfection i want you to aim to be your best on a daily basis so for you like 
from expecting like like for me as a coach i expect different things from you like what are three things that you like you expect from the junior academy and what are three things that like you know you expected and then got or you expected and you got above and beyond i i expected the knowledge like i expected just you i mean you have taught so much like all your classes you know even when you just put out those little videos of, of just a little bit of motivational self-talk like i have um i i've expected to learn how to just think better about myself and be more positive and like and and be more confident and i mean i got that 100 percent, like in every way um well, I mean, I, I expected to lose weight. <laughs> I did, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and I am, and I still am. Um, and um, what else did I expect? I don't know. I, I think actually, one thing I didn't expect was the relationships that, like I said, that uh, kind of developed with the other um, clients in the dream team. Um, mm -hmm. Geez, what else did I expect? I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't have a lot of expectations. If I'm being honest, like I said, I was too busy being scared. I was too busy being worried about what I, what exercise I wasn't going to be able to do and, you know, like whether I was going to be able to, you know, eat a certain amount of calories and not feel hungry in the daytime and, and you know, want to do a cheat meal or something like that. Um, so there wasn't a lot that I expected. So pleasantly surprised with everything, you know, that I've gained, like the community is like a family. Like, I, I don't know. I talked to you know the community everybody in the community we interact more than i do with some of my friends on a daily basis and like even some of my family so i mean what, what does that say like what does that say about you know like i don't know i just i feel lots of feelings about everybody in that group um like as i don't feel like i feel the way i do now without them and like the you know the support and the good words and stuff that we uh you know trade back and forth with each other it's it's everything that's awesome. And the thing is, they'll be watching this, so they'll get your feedback from it. That's awesome, though. That's yeah. really beautiful. Do you have anything else you would like to tell the audience about you, your finish journey, and overall, like, when it comes to just tackling your finish journey? You know, what's some things you would tell the audience, like, go and get it? Oh, I got to give some words of wisdom here. I don't know. I'm with the master yeah, right now. I don't know. I don't have the words to say. I don't know. You know, like I said, my journey, my journey's not done. Um, you, when I set, I had did, I had done a post a while ago t saying that I had set a weight goal, you know, many years ago that I had never reached that I've reached now, you know, with, with the five months in the DTA, but, um, I have no weight goals anymore. My goal is just, I just want to feel good. I just want to look good. Yeah. I just want like, you know, I don't want to be like little six skinny mini. I want the curves. I want muscles. I want to be toned. I love going to the gym and, you know, like lifting heavy things and just, I, I I just love it and it, it's addicting and um so i i just would like to, like i can't wait to continue my journey and keep doing this um and that's the one thing too i feel like if you give yourself that time enough time you will become addicted to it thank you for watching and i hope this brought you tremendous value when it comes to your journey as well as you know help you you know make some decisions when it comes to things by nutrition and fitness so therefore you can put yourself in a best situation and environments always grow and become better but if you ever want some professional help when it comes to your journey specifically when it comes to having this tailored plan specifically for you make sure to send me a message or comment help down below and i could always dm you or i could always message you back to create a custom plan specifically for you so therefore you can see faster results hope you enjoyed have the best day ever stay beautiful stay blessed peace